So if you're just a beginner, there's absolutely no harm in that. Uh, we all had to start at some place. So in this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit about HTML and CSS. So this is going to be a basic HTML CSS intro. So let's get started. Okay, I am going to open up a text editor, and my text editor is Sublime Text since I am on a Mac. And if you are on a PC, you will probably want to open up Notepad. Basically, you will need any type of plain text editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write in, I'll just say hi. And then I'm going to save this as index.html on my desktop. And now if I open up this file, you'll see that it opens up in Chrome and it says hi on the page. So just like that, we've created a simple web page. It's not much to look at, and it's actually not valid HTML. What we will need to do is go back to our text editor and we will need to add in a basic HTML structure. And an HTML structure looks like this. At the very top, we say that this document type is a type HTML. So we're talking to the browser and we're saying, hey, this is the type of file that we are, render us as such. So what we have at the second line is the HTML, we have the head of the page and the body of the page. Get familiar because this is how every single HTML page will look. I'm going to clear out all of this and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about tags. A tag is a, a less than sign followed by a character and then a greater than sign. And this is particularly is a paragraph tag. So I can type in something like this is a paragraph. And then we also have to close out the tag. So every time we open a tag, we have to close the tag as well. So I'm going to also write in a what's called a header tag. And this is basically going to be larger text. You're going to say that this is a header uh, with larger text. This is more important than a paragraph tag header. And then we'll also need to close that. So anytime you open up an HTML element, you also need to close it, which is why in an HTML structure, we have the HTML page up here at the top. And then we also have the closing tag down here at the bottom. And the same with the head, we have the opening and the closing. And then the body is where all of our content will live. So this is where we will want to probably put our paragraph. I'm just going to say, I love sushi. I'm going to save that and I'm going to reload the page. And then right there it says, I love sushi. This is a valid HTML web page. So what we'll also want to do is probably add a title. So I'm just going to call this page sushi. And I'm also going to add a header tag and I'll just call this sushi is awesome. And the next one that I'm going to do is I am going to place an image. And an image tag does not have a closing tag. You basically will say image source, and then you could add a kind of closing and greater than sign. Or with HTML5, you actually don't even need that. But images are one of those elements that do not require a closing tag. So in rare instances, there are some cases that you will not have a closing tag. It's very few, but just in most cases, every time you open a tag, you also need to close it. But in this case, I'm just going to write image.jpg. And then I can go ahead and save that. But we don't have an image anywhere on here. So if we open up the page, we're going to see a broken image. So I'm going to go ahead and copy over an image that I have in my downloads folder. This is called sushi.png. I'm going to paste that on my desktop. And I will need to change the name to sushi.png. If I save that and reload the page, bam, we see a little sushi guy. And we say sushi is awesome. And I love sushi below that. Let's add a little bit of style to the page because it looks kind of ugly right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the header of the page and I'm going to write in style tag and whatever I open, I also need to close. So I will close that style. And this is called CSS. So the HTML is the structure of your page and CSS is the way that it's styled. It's the way that it gives it design to the page. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the body of the page, I want the text to align center. Okay, so after I've saved that and I refresh the page, then you see that everything is center aligned. Now let's add some color to this header tag right here. And I'm going to go ahead and format this. Uh, one thing about formatting is whenever you are inside of a tag, the elements inside of it, you'll probably want to put a tab in front of that just so you can see that you have a nice indentation. So you can see where your body starts and your body ends and all the elements inside of your body should be tabbed over one space. So I'm going to go ahead and add some styles. I'll just say that a header, I want to give this a color of, let's say blue. And let's say our paragraph tag, let's give it a color of red. I'm going to zoom out so we can see all of the contents of the HTML and I'm going to refresh. And you'll see now that we have a blue sushi is awesome and an I love sushi below that. Um, and it's still not much to look at, but you can see that you can change the CSS and the styles of the page to make it look a little bit nicer. 
And uh, that's just the very basics about how to uh, create a web page. You, as you'll see there, we didn't add much. All we had was one index.html page. We added a little bit of style, which is CSS in the header of the page. And uh, then we had a, a simple image. So with two files, we created this web page. And I'll have it below this video too. Uh, but this is just a very basic introduction to HTML and a little bit of CSS.